In the depths of the ocean, towering structures rise from the seafloor. Hydrothermal vents. The deep sea represents one of the last remaining unexplored frontiers on the planet, covering 65% of the Earth's surface. The discovery of hydrothermal vents in 1977 revolutionized our understanding of life. But this miraculous ecosystem could vanish before we have the opportunity to fully understand it. Hydrothermal vents occur in regions where Earth's tectonic plates are moving apart, with active vents covering an area of only 50 kilometers squared. Vents form towering chimneys, reaching heights of up to 12 meters, and are known as either white or black smokers, depending on the minerals in their plumes. On the seafloor where vents are found, sunlight is a distant memory, and water temperatures can reach up to 400 degrees Celsius. But miraculously, life thrives here. The sheer biomass at hydrothermal vents can match that of tropical rainforests, and many species are unique to this ecosystem. Chemosynthetic bacteria form the base of the food web, creating energy from mineral deposits rather than sunlight. Giant tube worms, the fastest growing marine invertebrate, are the pioneers of this ecosystem. Yeti crabs, mussels, and shrimps thrive in bustling communities. Sharks patrol the waters surrounding vents, and species such as octopus and skates use the warmer temperatures to incubate their eggs. These vents play a key role in ocean chemistry, bringing heat and nutrients to the depths of the ocean. The species found in this environment have been groundbreaking for medical science and are used to tackle cancer, heart disease, and asthma. A microbe found in these structures has been even used in rapid COVID-19 tests. Despite less than 5% of the seafloor having been explored, the deep sea faces an uncertain future. Deep sea oil and gas extraction is already underway and is expected to expand. Companies are also looking to the deep sea to meet rising demand for metals used in technology, like mobile phones and renewable energy. Areas of the seafloor containing metal-rich deposits have already been licensed for exploration. Commercial attention is focused on the abyssal plains, which contain manganese nodules, but hydrothermal vents could be next on the agenda. Not only will removal of materials destroy crucial habitats, the disturbance of sediment from drilling and mining activities could smother vulnerable organisms. It could take decades for the ecosystem to recover from this. The depths of the ocean could hold millions of species that are yet to be discovered. Further research is vital in determining how these organisms might be affected by deep sea activities. In an effort to protect this unique ecosystem, the Deep Sea Conservation Coalition is calling for a temporary suspension of all mining activities. We need further protection for the deep sea and tougher regulation by the International Seabed Authority who oversee deep sea mining. You can help protect the deep sea by taking care of your mobile phone and laptop, choosing refurbished items instead of new, and ensuring they are properly recycled. You can also support the Deep Sea Conservation Coalition by signing the petitions on their website, and you can find and contact your government to ask for a suspension on deep sea mining.